Hey everybody, first of all, at Norma Her, I just got out of the shower, I haven't done anything with it yet. I got my leave-in treatment sitting in it, because I like to let it sit before I brush my hair. Anyways, I want to show you guys how I apply my FMG Cashmere Foundation by Avon. So, let's hop into it, I'm going to show you guys step for step. So, the first thing I do is apply moisturizer. This is the one I'm using right now. You just use whatever you you know you like. There's nothing specific that I recommend. I just like this one right now because it doesn't make me super oily. And it doesn't aggravate my acne. And obviously, you can tell I got some hormonal acne going on right now, girl. Okay. Next up, after that, we put this all over our face. We're going to let it set for about five minutes. And then we're going to apply that foundation. So, I'll be right back. So, um, in my review video on my Avon haul, I showed that I had got this primer. I did try this the other day with this foundation, and I do want to say that I just, I love this, but I don't love it with this foundation. I like this just probably by itself, um, and maybe like with a, maybe with a, just a powder, but this is not something that you really want to do with this cashmere foundation because the cashmere foundation, um, it absorbs oil. So with this type of primer, it's actually, it just makes it too matte. So I'm just not a fan of this, okay? So we're not going to be using this today, but I just want to touch base and let you guys know that I do love this. This is amazing. Just not with a foundation that is just going to be super matte. I would say probably with more of a dewy foundation that you would love this. But great stuff. You can wear it by itself or with a foundation. Just not with this one. Okay, so it's time to apply the foundation. So when I got this the other day, I really didn't open it up and look at the applicator. I, I made sure that I said it didn't have a pump. And I feel kind of crazy because I should have opened it up and showed you guys this. It doesn't have a pump, but you don't need a pump because it has a large doe foot applicator. And in the center, it has a place where it absorbs the product so you don't have to keep going back in over and over and over. And trust me, a little bit goes a long way. I also, before we get started, I want to let you know when you're using this foundation, it dries super fast. So make sure that you are doing just half of your face at a time because if you don't, you're not going to really be able to work this foundation in. Alright, so let me grab my mirror because I am vision challenged, okay, without my glasses. So also, this past the uh, glasses challenge, by the way, you didn't do the whole indent thing, which is great. So we're going to get some of this on our applicator. And what I do, I've, I've applied this twice, and this is just what I found that I like best, is I like to put just little dots all over one side of my face. And I'm just going to do this right here, and then do that under my under eye, okay? Set that down in there, and I did try using a sponge with it. <sighs> Don't like the sponge with it. I think this is going to be more of a foundation that you want to use a brush. This is a, a small kabuki brush um, that I purchased. I think it's Real Techniques. No, it's Eco Tools. It's Eco Tools. Um, it's one of my favorite brushes. I use it a lot for like bronzer and stuff because I've got like a three set, and when I am um, using my bronzer and highlight I like to use these brushes so I'm going to just use this one for foundation because this is the only one that I have right now that will really work because with this foundation you need a certain type of density to really blend in well and this is a really good brush for that okay so this side from here down you can see a difference now I do want to say this is buildable you, if you're not getting enough coverage that first round, because I do have some problem areas right now. It's just hormones, guys. But, you know, if you need to go back in, touch up, definitely do that. But keep in mind, we also have the concealer in this brand. I do not have the concealer, but that will be my next purchase. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this to the rest of my face, and I will be back.
So after I have the foundation applied, I'm going to go in very lightly with a sit with a setting powder. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I do not recommend using a setting powder that is like super matte because, like I said before, this foundation absorbs oil. And even if you want a matte finish, there has to be a line, okay? You don't want too matte because there is a too matte look. And if you do too matte, it's going to be very noticeable. And I'm the type of person, I fully believe that you can wear makeup, you can feel beautiful, but he can still look natural. But if you are going too matte, that skin is too matte, it just, it's really cakey, you're going to be able to see it across the room. You don't want to do that. That's not what we're doing. We want you to feel natural, beautiful, and get that coverage that you want, which with this foundation, it's very possible to do. It's just finding that technique. So, um, actually, before I go on with my setting powder, I'm sorry, let's touch up my brows real quick. So, I'm going to show you how I do that. One second, let me get my stuff. So, when I do my brows, I just use a clear brow gel. My brows are pretty thick, and I don't really have to fill anything in, thank you, Jesus. But I do like to shape them. And when I do this, I'll, I just use a clear brow gel. This is um, FMG's Love brow gel and honestly I cannot remember the full name now because I threw the packaging away but um, I really love this I love the applicator super small very tiny and that's what you want with a brow gel um, applicator is that you want something really small because if it's large it makes it really hard to get into those small areas into that crease you really want to shape them the way you want them so I used this the other day, absolutely my new fave. I'm going to show you guys how I do this real quick. Super easy, super easy, super quick. Just go in, put that right through your brows. You want to kind of coat it on there before you shape them the way you want them. So we got it kind of fuzzed up there. And then we're just going to comb through. And that just shapes them the way that you want them. Now keep in mind that this is to hold them in place, so make sure that before it dries that you have it the way you want it, because it will be a little harder to get them repositioned once it dries without taking the product off. So we're just going to do the other side. Do the same thing. And just shape them the way that I want them. Now I do have a lazy eye, so... Um, some days I have to kind of work with my brows a little bit to make them look even because this side sometimes doesn't look even with that side and it's just kind of crazy, which that's okay. Everybody's got every little issues, you know, things they don't like about themselves. Mine's my lazy eye. It doesn't affect me all the time, but now some days it really gets me. All right. So next up, we are going to, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to set this foundation with very light setting powder. Hold on just a second. So I'm just using a fluffy powder brush. This is the powder brush from Real Techniques. I've had it for quite some time. It's actually time for a new one. As you can tell, my little handle there is about had it. But I love this brush. It's one of my favorite brushes. So soft. So we're going to go in really, really lightly with this. And the only reason is that this is going to help this set and dry on your face and help it to not look so matte and unnatural so just like that I always get the, um, the excess product off your brushes too before you apply it to your face or your eyes or whatever because that's going to make a difference to uh, how things look so major difference too by the way just as soon as I applied it major difference so there we go. Alright, so that's got that set. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some bronzer and a little bit of blush. I'm thinking blush, but definitely bronzer. So hold on just a second and I'll be right back. So I'm going to show you how I contour my face. Um, these are not Avon products, so I'm not really going to show them very much, but this is the bronzer I use. Um, I love this bronzer, but Avon also has a bronzer that I really want to try. So, uh, and I think that the shade might actually be a little bit better for me because this is just a little bit dark, but you can work with it. So I'm going to show you guys what I do. 
So the first thing is I take my larger Kabuki brush, which is come in the same set as the one that I applied my foundation with. So what I do is I take just a little bit onto the brush, about like that, and then I'm going to just tap it. Make sure there's no excess because, like I said, this is a little dark. So I'm going to just first, let's start down here, and I'm going to down the jawbone and then through here for a little bit of color because I am very pale. And don't, don't, don't start judging it yet because I'm going to blend it all in. No, nobody panic. Around that jawline. And this also is a really good slimming technique for your face. Um, if that's something that you like to do. So, we're going to do the same thing to this side. And I'll be right back. And before I start blending, I'm going to show you how I do this on my nose. So I like to contour my nose, and sometimes I will use this little itty bitty kabuki brush. And then sometimes I don't do that. I'll show you what I do. Also, don't judge me because I know there's some people out there who's going to be like, oh my gosh, she touched her hands on her face. Oh no. Well, we're doing it, okay? Thumb, pointer finger, just take into the bronzer like that. Just like that. Don't judge me yet. Don't judge me yet. Okay. I have a process. And down the nose. Now we're going to blend. So to blend the product, I'm going in with the same powder brush that I used to set my foundation. And we're going to blend, blend, blend until we get it how we want it. So next, I'm going to apply some blush. It's also not the Avon brand, but we do sell blush, and I am going to be buying that next. That's just something I've not purchased yet because look, these compacts are almost completely full, and I'm just, I hate wasting. And I know that if I buy something else, I'm not going to want to use this, and I paid um, quite a bit for it. So, so we're going to go in with a little bit of blush. Um, bronzer did the trick, so we're not going to go very heavy with the blush. This is just to give it a really healthy um, pink look. We don't want to look too brown, but we also keep in mind as well, when you're contouring, don't make your face look like that you were wearing a mask. And the key to that was what I was doing, is blending and blend downward into the neck area. So here we go with the blush. So I want to explain this super quick because I didn't do this today, but I typically, um, do use this also not the avon brand but this is one of my favorite favorite concealers and i highly highly recommend it even though it's not something that i sell so this is the nyx brand and this is just a color correcting concealer okay this is the hd um studio photogenic concealer and this is just in the green one now i have a lot of redness I've always had redness like right through here and here, and then I get some above my eyebrows for some reason. I don't know what causes that, but I've always been super red there. Even when I was like really young, I would get really like a lot of redness there. So before I even apply foundation, what I usually do after I have put my moisturizer on and it's set for five minutes and I'm getting ready to get started, I'll go ahead and I will dab this on. And I do not use a brush with this either. When I apply this, I use my finger and I press down and let it melt into my skin because the heat just from my touch makes that concealer really melt into the skin and it just looks so much better. Um, but this is just, this is something I wanted to tell you about. I do use this quite a bit. I did not use it today because I really wanted to show you just the coverage with the foundation alone. And as you can tell, I am very broke out and it has done a great job except for like, there's a few like reason places that the camera is still picking up, but you can't see anything other than the fact that it's risen on my face. So, I mean, really good foundation. So the last thing that I want to show you guys is the Avon uh, Wash Off Waterproof Mascara. 
So I'm going to show you guys how I apply this and then we're going to set this and we'll be done. Okay, because I am just, I love to keep it simple and that's what we're doing today. So I'll be right back and I'm going to show you guys how I apply this. So um, this mascara, like I said, and I know it sounds crazy, but it's wash off waterproof. Okay, I have honestly never heard that, but it is what it is. And when you put this on, it's not coming off until you use like a makeup remover, soap and water, something like just plain old water. Like if you have an emotional day at work and you, you've got a crying area, you go there and cry, this ain't coming off. Okay, we've all done it. Nobody judge me. Okay, um, so I want to show you guys this. I really, really love this applicator. And it's just a lot. It takes you back and it's just like a plain applicator. There is nothing like super special about it. It's not curved. It's just these dang bristles. They are amazing. Look at those bristles on this applicator. So this for mascara is what you want. And I'm going to tell you why. This separates those lashes and makes them look so natural. This is buildable. If you want to go in with two coats to make it like really pop, you can do that. Now some days, like depending on how I'm doing my makeup, I will do that. Today we're not doing that because I'm just going out to do groceries and pay bills and things like that today. So I really am not trying to make my eyes pop. If I were doing that, I would be doing like the whole eyeshadow, whole nine yards. So this is just a plain makeup look, okay? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. So also when you're applying your mascara, just a little tip, if you're somebody that's new with this and you've never really done your makeup a lot, um, when you're applying mascara, look up. Like look up and it will keep you from blinking. I know sometimes it's a little hard and sometimes I still blink, but look up. Just look up, like do that and it will help, okay? I can't wait to show you guys this. This is one of my favorite products. It just separates the lashes. Like, it looks so beautiful. Like, it makes my lashes so natural, so pretty. I love, love, love. Look how gorgeous. Like, look at that. I love it. So now I do very lightly go over my bottom lashes, but not super heavy. Um, I just, I'll show you what I do. I just take and I just kind of do that. And i tell you why. Um, I don't know if everybody does this. I just noticed it with me. Um, but I have really long lashes too. Um, but when I apply it on my top lashes, it automatically gets on the lower. So if I try to go in and really do that at this number, it's going to be like too heavy. So I just don't like that. That's just me. So I'm going to do the other side and I will be back. So the last thing we're going to do is I'm going to let this set on my eyes just for a minute, but I want to talk to you about this while it's kind of drying because I like to let this dry before I close my eyes and spray um, my setting spray because if I close my eyes while it's still a little wet, it's going to get everywhere. That's any mascara for me. Don't know if that happens to anybody else, but it does with me. Okay. So this is the Avon True Color Makeup Setting Spray, and this is just kind of a plain Jane setting spray. It doesn't do anything like super magnificent, but I will say this. These, these two babies have been my go-to since the companies released them. This is all that I use. It's all that I've ever bought, like, since these people released them. When the professional came out, I ran, okay? Like, because I love the professional primer. Bought this first thing. I always buy the small bottles, so I'm going to tell you why. Because I use both of these. I alternate depending on the day. And then when Urban Decay did the all-nighter, yeah, in love. Because they have the, um... They have a regular one. I think this one's the matte. Uh, there's a difference. I can't even think. I always get this. No, this one's oil control. That's temperature control. That's what the difference is. So I always get these two. 
I always get them in the small travel sizes because I go back and forth and they last me forever and they're super cheap. So anytime I go to Ulta, go to Sephora, I would come out with these. This is like, I think I paid $10. I can compare it to these two. And I don't know if you guys know anything about these, but they're a little pricey. Okay. Like, you know, if you're somebody that buys it, you probably know. If not, look it up. They're a little pricey, okay? Um, this was 8 or 10. I can't even remember now. But, um, it's comparable. Um, it held my makeup in place all day. It doesn't have a scent. Um, it helped me combat oil. It didn't dry my skin out. I mean, it's just a really good setting spray. Now, the only complaint that I had was when I sprayed it on, there was like one or two little places for like little uh, droplets were on my skin, but that was an easy fix because I just took my powder brush and just dabbed it a little bit and it was gone finished. If you're somebody that's not going to like that, you're probably not going to like this because the reason being the formula is a little thick and that's the reason it does it. So I'm going to show you guys this. I really do like it. I do. And I really think that this is going to be my replacement setting spray. Because it just, it works as good as the high end. And there's just no reason to, for me to spend the money there when I can get something a lot cheaper that works just as good. Okay. So, I'm trying to debate if I want to wait a minute. Okay, I think it's okay. I just don't want my mascara to get on my under eye here, but I think it's okay. Because I got my fan going. I think it's dried it. Okay, so I'm going to close my eyes and then I'm going to spray this all over. And then I'm going to check and make sure there's no droplets. And then if they are, touch it up with the brush and then we're done. So you want to make sure that you coated your face with that. Instantly, like, it, it makes it look better. I don't know why, but it does. Instantly when you spray it, your entire face looks better. Instantly. So let's make sure there's no droplets. Okay, there's like one, two, three. Those three little droplets. And they're like super small. You can't even like, yeah, it's not even noticeable. Yeah. No, I'll see you another. Okay. And we're done. So, this is the foundation, and I'm in love with this. I highly recommend. Like, if you've not tried this, you need to get it. Send me a message. I will hook you up. I can color match you, get you exactly what you need. Also, if you're local, I have some samples. So, and though the samples are free. So, just send me a message. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you later.